there has been caution around public discussion of suicide. Some medical experts fearing that it can lead to a contagion, sort of. Anthony Bourdain taking his life, found dead in his hotel room in France at 61 years old. ABC Nation banker is here with the latest. Good morning, ABC. Yes, Michael, it's a huge... Can we talk about something serious? Did you guys hear about this Anthony Bourdain and Kate Spade thing? Yeah, they, they both committed suicide in the same week. I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story. In college, uh, my second year, sophomore year, I was like, I was pretty miserable about, about life just generally. Like I felt hopeless. I started smoking weed every single day and nothing anyone could tell me could make me feel better about it. It's tough to talk about. Suicide was never really on my mind per se. I never ever would have the balls to do that. But I felt I felt hopeless and I felt like I, I, I wanted to die. I remember I wasn't really praying at all. I was like, God, if, if you're out there, please, I'm begging you, end my life. Like, just take me out of this misery. Take me out of this pain. Life kept going. I ended up transferring home. And I remember one night I was like super lonely and depressed and I was thinking, I was like, you know, maybe, maybe my parents aren't idiots. And maybe like the whole God thing is true. All my friends tell me there's no such thing as God. Everyone on TV acts like, you know, you're an idiot if you believe in God. And I remember I was like, well, I'm following what they're saying and it's not working. I'm feeling anxious, I'm feeling miserable, I'm feeling depressed, I'm feeling hopeless. So the only other option at this point is to really try Try the God thing. I remembered like reading different verses about like, you know, anxiety, purpose, faith, all this kind of stuff. Slowly but surely, like reading these Bible verses started giving me like a new, a new sense of hope or something. I prayed, I was like, I was like, God, if you're, if you're really there, please, I don't want anything other than just for you to take the anxiety away from me. If you really love me, if you're really out there, just take the anxiety from me. I just want to feel better. Day one, I was like, okay, still feeling anxious. Day two, I was like, come on, like you made the earth in seven days. How long does it take to take away my anxiety? And then like slowly but surely, I just started feeling this like, it's just like a piece that you don't even really understand. Like everything is going wrong in every area of your life, but for some reason it doesn't matter. And you just feel like okay about things. Part of me would be like, you know, it could just be coincidence. Maybe I'm just feeling better about stuff. Uh, because other things are going better. But then there'd be things where it's just like, it's just too good to be coincidence. You don't think if God is really real and he created this entire earth, he created that tree and he created that plant, birds and dogs and cats and me and you, you don't think if that is true, he can't help you with your anxiety. He can't help you with your future. He can't help you with finding the right person to spend the rest of your life with. All he's asking is for you to try it and trust him. When I felt like there was no hope, like I'm sure Anthony Bourdain did and Kate Spade did, I didn't turn to medicine, prescription, pills, alcohol, drugs. I put all my problems, I put all my worries in God, not knowing if he was really there or not. Try the God thing. Just try it. You don't even have to tell anyone. It'll be your secret between you and him. And if you find out nothing's happening, you tried it. Ask him any little thing. If your toe is hurting, tell him your toe is hurting. If you're anxious about your job, your career, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you don't have any friends, you can't quit smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, you feel crappy about the way you look, feel hopeless, anxious, miserable, depressed, ask him, tell him. He wants to help you. I'm telling you, just try it. But I guarantee you, you will ask God for things or he will do things in your life that will convince you that he's very real and he knows every little thing about you. And you won't be able to not tell people about your experiences. The thing with Kate Spade and the thing with Anthony Bourdain, don't just read the article and move on. Think about it. What's going on? They had all the money, they had all the fame, they had all the notoriety, and they still committed suicide? Something's going on. Try the God thing.